The Cape Pioneer Trek has come of age. A new era has dawned. A conscious effort has been made to create a riding environment where tough days are followed by rewarding days, just bettering the overall riding experience. This philosophy has been implemented over the past few years, culminating in the 2016 route. From being labelled the toughest stage race in SA a few years back, it's now about great riding, magic new trails and a quality experience. The new philosophy is evident in the route distance for 2016, the shortest in its history with only 496 kilometres covered over seven days, including the prologue, and with 9,620 metres of vertical ascent. The route is diverse in all aspects, from the beach ride at the coast to the unforgiving desert-like terrain of the Karoo. 2016 will once again kick off in Mossel Bay with an urban coast-hugging prologue, very similar to 2015, and will once again finish in Otoni. The 2016 edition will only visit three towns, Mossel Bay, George and Otoni, with a prologue, a longer journey stage from town to town, and then a rewarding stage on the day that we stay in town. The 2015 prologue and its setting was well received and nowhere else will you find a start to a race with this sort of scenery and spectator engagement. The route will be similar to 2015 with the start at Milkwood Primary School, followed by a demanding climb up to the lighthouse and then the single track starts all along the edge of the drop off towards the sea, making it truly spectacular. The boardwalks and beachfront of the Point and Mossel Bay Harbour will be on the menu, as well as a crossing of Santos Beach, the place where Bartholomew Diaz set foot here in 1488. The distance will remain short at 13 kilometres, with 320 metres of total climbing. Just note that nearly all the ascent happens in the first four kilometres. Stage 1 will showcase the Mossel Bay area and exquisite places where we couldn't get to before. The stage will start in neutral fashion until the riders head northwest towards freshly cut single track in the Gondwana Private Nature Reserve. This 11,000 hectare reserve offers a wilderness experience and the riders will come face to face with the free roaming Big Five of the African continent. Truly a spectacular area with views of the mighty Otaniqua Mountains and the ocean nearby. More new track through adjacent farmlands will bring the riders to a fast and furious descent towards Dias Beach and on to Milkwood School for a well-deserved night on the water's edge. Stage 2 will arguably be the toughest stage of the race with 2,200 metres of climbing over 99 kilometres. A short neutral goodbye ride through the town will see the riders entering Dias Beach for a 7 kilometre beach sandy slog always at the mercy of the tide, but making it spectacular. The race then heads towards the foothills of the Great Otaniqua Mountains, where Jeep and single track will traverse the lower slopes, heading east towards George. Some rewarding single track just after the third water point will see the riders getting a taste of the fun that awaits on stage three. We finish at Van Kerville High School, a Cape Pioneer partner since 2009. Stage 3 is the shorter stage for 2016, but it's all fun. 90% single track riding in lush forests. We often visit George on this race, but never before have we had the chance to properly enjoy the kilometers of beautiful flowing single track. The Garden Roots capital is adjacent to some of the best kept secrets in mountain biking. Tracks so lovingly built and kept by passionate mountain bikers from this area. You'll be blown away by this short but rewarding day in the saddle. A journey which includes Montague Pass is always worthwhile and combined with new single track sections at Herald Wines makes this a fabulous day. For stage 4 we return to the 2009 pioneer route between George and Oturn with its undulating tracks and climbs that have a bite. The change in climate and terrain is obvious as we enter the arid desert like Karoo. Once again we enter Oturn through Chandelier Game Reserve and we find our way towards Langenhoven Gymnasium, our host for the next couple of days. Riders travel eastward towards the Kamanasi Mountains on stage 5, but for the first time in many years, we don't go to the mountains, but rather circumnavigate the dam by the same name. 
and then set off for a ride through a private game reserve where the riders will be exposed to a section never before visited by mountain bikers, making them true pioneers. Completing the circular route back to Otsuren brings the riders through the Stolzflakte and more superb single track before finally heading home. Today, the claim Karua was experienced like never before. The final day sees a start at the Chandelier Game Reserve, home to another famous dryland race, the Fairview Attaquas Extreme. This day will definitely start with game viewing as Giraffe or Elin cross the valley and plains of this exquisite reserve. This day is all about having fun and celebrating the achievement of the past week. 57 kilometers of Jeep track up and single track down. A fast race to the finish at the Queen's Hotel caps a brilliant week in the saddle until 2017.